everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Walls of CCLP3. It has been a long time since I posted a video for this series, and I just wanted to say thank you for your patience, and I'm very sorry for the long delay. Um, I'll talk a little bit about that here as we get started. With 17,000 miles from humanity, I know that this is a level based on Blockhead, if I'm not mistaken. Um... And it looks like we can't really do anything with this yet, so let's just explore. Whoa, okay, that's not what I meant to do. Um, yeah, this is definitely the opening area of Blockhead. Okay. So yeah, I've been away for a while, and um, it's been an interesting time. Um, I guess I apparently stopped there. Um, so as many of you know, I started a new job. Um, I recorded the last video in this series around the time I started the job, and uh, it has been a fairly long journey as far as just getting settled in, and that's not like, um, you know, that's that's not something I was really planning for or anything like that, but I think in my brain I was thinking, like, I want to make sure I'm at 100% when I record videos for y'all and not just phone it in, because I feel like the last episode I kind of phoned it in. I know some of you would probably disagree with that, but, uh, okay, yeah, there is a water there. But yeah, it's one of those things where after the last video, I'm like, okay, I want to make sure I'm all settled in at work and everything before I really embark on this new, uh, embark on this, the rest of this Let's Play journey and stuff, so. So that's why I, I've, I took a little bit of a break, and ironically enough, uh, I know this may sound a little strange given kind of my track record with this, but... I ended up finding a lot of comfort, if you want to call it that, in optimizing, um, which I wasn't expecting. Um, normally, optimizing, like in years past, was kind of a stressful thing for me, but like more recently, as I've gotten kind of back into it a little bit, uh, especially with links optimization, I had a lot of fun doing it this time around. Um, which was nice, you know, it was nice to, to do optimizing and feel like it was something fun to get involved with and not, you know, just be stressed out by and all that, so. Okay, is this just an extra fire boot? I'm going to assume it's the answer is yes. So yeah, this was the opening room. It's interesting how there's a red key in there, because I think there was a red lock in there originally. Okay, so this was the upper section. Okay, this is pretty large. I don't know what that clone button does. So yeah, optimizing has been a, a really interesting outlet to just make sure my brain can continue to be exercised while I do the other stuff that I need to get done for work and whatnot. Um, but I think because I've been tired, it's been a lot better as far as just making sure that um, I'm not wearing myself out or anything. Like I don't feel the need to just constantly optimize all the time or do anything like that. Mm -hmm. So that's been neat. Like, that's been... Mm. I feel like that's been a much healthier mm. place to be than where I was... Oh. Uh, I didn't exactly think about that. Uh, can I get out of this? I'm not sure I can. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna need to start over on this one. So, yeah. The other thing, too, was... Um, I kind of wanted to take a step back and think about, like, where I wanted to be with this channel and stuff. Because I think at first, I, I went through several phases of, like, adjustment when I went into this new job and everything. And the first one was, like, unlearning all the things that I had to kind of put myself through as far as just, um, like, oh, I have to think about this or, you know, what so-and-so will think and all that stuff that, you know, you have to think about. Whoops. You know, at a previous job, and I think that's pretty normal. I mean, everybody goes through that to some degree. Um, but as part of that, I realized that there was all this energy that I was dedicating to learning all the stuff on the new job. And then once I got settled in, maybe two or three weeks ago, that's when I started realizing, I was like, oh my gosh, I have all this energy that I'm not spending on all the things that I used to spend on my old job or learning things on the new job. So... Now what I do with that? So it's been a, an interesting journey to just parse a lot of that out. Mm, mm. Oh my goodness, I keep misfingering all of this. Um, it's been a nice 
ride as far as just trying to make sure I understand all of that and what's required. I'm wondering if the extra fire boot is because you might accidentally grab one before getting up here. Um, I'm seriously wondering if that's the case. Anyway. I feel like I'm in a much better place now mentally than, than I was before, which is a relief. Um, I've been kind of transitioning away from doing optimization and into like um, preparing my s uh, submission set for CCLP5. I started doing that um, several months ago, but then I got distracted and now I'm getting back into it, so it should be fun. Okay, so we need to map out what's going on here. I thought you had to put a block here and then get the other one out, but apparently not. Uh, okay, let's try something here. I need to get a block onto like this force floor to extract that other one out there. So, okay, I don't think I really need to worry about like that force floor that I just passed here, that one. I just need to do this, right? <laughs> Okay. I think that's all I need, right? Don't I, do I really need anything else? I think the rest of this is pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just need to get each of these out individually. Like, they don't need to interact. Okay, that was a lot easier than I was expecting. Okay, so we can open up this. There's a bunch of chips up here. And apparently invisible walls. I'm okay. I was gonna say I'm I'm wondering if we're gonna encounter one where, or maybe more than one, apparently where we can't get the chips. Interesting use of this area. I don't know what I would do with this level, to be honest. I I feel like it would be something like this though. Okay, so we can't do anything there either. All right, what is going on with this? This is curious. Okay, let's go through the slide. Okay, I don't know what's down here. Just a turnaround point, apparently. I'm going to predict that we need to get that block out, but I need to figure out a way to turn the toggles on. So what does this do, exactly? Like, what what is this cloning? That's my concern. Is there really four different things that have nothing that you can do with them? Oh, here! I can go in here. Okay. So I need to guide this block through the maze. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. This seems pretty straightforward. I like the fact that there's a button over there. That's helpful. Which apparently I need to switch to that to get to. Mm. Whoops. Uh, mm. Okay. So far, so good. A lot of back and forth in here, but I don't really mind it too much. I mean, the original level had a little bit of this, too. Especially in the ending room. I'm curious to know what was done with that. Okay, so now we have that. I guess I could have just done that first. Okay, so now we get this. Now we get this. And we just do that, apparently? I guess that's all. Okay, so what does putting the fireballs into this area mean for us, exactly? I guess we'll find out. I'm assuming that this, this clone button isn't anything bad, right? Okay. The only other place I can think of going to is down here. Oh. Maybe not. Hang on. What did I miss? There's... Uh... 
Oh, wait, I have to go this way. Derp. Okay, just be careful not to trip on anything here. Okay, I don't know... Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, so we have a blue wall maze? Question mark? Okay. A key. Another key. I need to really replace the tile world sounds with, like, the MSCC sounds. Because I really love those sounds a lot. Okay, so we're going up there. Another key. Good. Oh! <laughs> that was kind of funny. I'm assuming the doors hide the hint or something. I, I have to assume that's the case, right? That was a fun level. I, I liked that one. Not my favorite, but it, it was fun. Okay, Orange Computer Veil? Orange Computer Veil. That's an interesting name. Oh, we got a little uh, pearl diving action here, huh? Uh, okay. So we have to extract this by doing something like that, I guess. Um. Oh, I see the, the, the thing here. We have to get it ahead of time. There we go. Okay, what are we doing with this exactly? I'm assuming we have to, like, get the button toggling, right? But, like, how do we do that continually? So, let me get this straight. The fireball is going to come around here. If I put the, the thing here, I just don't want it to go all the way back down. That's my concern. Is there any other place I can put it? If I put it there, then that's going to make that's gonna send it into the water. So, that's not good either. Maybe I just need to make sure it gets hit only one time. Except I need to hit it, like, twice at least, right? Or, no, three times. So I need to constantly get it hit. Uh, I feel like I'm missing something here. Am I just overthinking this? Oh, wait a minute. I can wiggle this out. Okay, let's do that. I think that should be fine. Okay, there we go. That was a cool puzzle. I, I liked that a lot. Oh. Oh. Okay, I see what we need to do here. Okay. But if I go down... Oh, I see. I had to release the paramecium to rectify that. Oh, that's cool. I like that a lot. Okay, this looks interesting. I feel like opening that up would be a bad idea, so I'm going to do this next. I need to figure out how to extract what I need out of here, though. So I think this block needs to go up there, this block needs to go, and then maybe that one? I think I have to do some, like, pre-arrangement here. So, like, if I can get this pushed down and then that pushed up, yeah, I, I think, I, th I see how you would do this. You do it like that, and then you go back this way. That is really cool. I like that puzzle a lot. Okay, so then I push that there. That's where you get the other yellow key. And then I can extract this one to go this way. Okay. Got it. Oh, that is cool. I like that. Okay, so now we have access to this area. Um, I don't know if pushing that button is a good idea. I'm guessing not. So I'm not going to go up there. Okay, there's a hint there. We now can do this. 
Okay, what is what are we doing here? What is going on? Um I'm trying to suss out what this is even about. I'm assuming that connects to that lower trap and this one connects to the upper trap. Is that right? I just don't want to like I'm concerned about the fact that I'm about to lose fire boots here, but I guess that's just the way it goes. Okay, so now I can go up here. Oh, there's... Oh, there are fire boots up here. I'm going to assume we need to extract both of these. Like, maybe like this. And then I need to go back down down maybe okay what are we getting to by doing that we're going over there okay let's let's go back down good okay so now I can cross this way and do all this stuff okay so now I get one of these so what I'm reading here is I could theoretically go through this to get to the other yellow key and get out safely? Question mark? Okay. So I now have the, the red key, which means I can open that upon... Whoops. There we go gaining access to this and a fire boot, right? And then once I hit this, I need to go back. Yeah, there we go. Where's that fireball going? Down there? I kind of wish there was a better, like, guarantee that it would go down there, but that's fine. <laughs> Okay, that was really fun. I, I really liked that level a lot. I The puzzles were really interesting. It did a lot with a small space. I think that used the walls of Problem Solver, which was my own level. Um, really cool. Really neat use of the space. I, the room in the lower right with all of the, um, the blocks and stuff, and how you unlocked each one was really interesting to figure out. I liked that a lot. The ending puzzle with the ball and the fire boots and all that stuff was cool. There there was just a lot to like about this one. I, I, I'm i stuck between a 4 and a 5 on this one for CCLP3. Or 5, sorry, this is Walls of CCLP3. We're voting for CCLP5 soon. Yeah, this one's going to be a, a pretty good contender, I think, for me. So well done on that one. All right, System Reboot. Okay, I, I think I see the gimmick here. We're going to be getting a choice. This kind of reminds me of... Uh... Wow, there's a lot going on here. This kind of reminds me a little bit of Three Boot Night from my Walls of CCLP one set. Sort of, I guess. Let's uh, let's get the, the boots and then we'll we'll go through this. Okay, so I'm assuming that you can't collect everything, that you very specifically are stuck with the chips that you can access only with the boots you have. And I believe this is Think Tank, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Um... Oh, I see. I can do that. I was like, I, for some reason, I did not see that ice slide there. Yeah, that was the room of the bug. This was the two-column room with all the tanks. Okay, I don't know if I can get any of this stuff. So, let's go on. Okay, we got a key. This is cool. This is one of the big old rooms. Man, I've been waiting to say that for a while. With the uh, stuff here. Okay, what are we cloning when we hit those? I'm a little worried. Also, did I collect two yellow keys? I'm going to just explore fully to make sure. 
we got everything we need here. Uh, okay, I have to sidestep that. Okay, I don't know what it is that we're cloning. Can we get some... I'm, I'm going to go through this first. This may be the wrong decision, but I want to do it. Walls from Think Tank, yep. Okay, some bombs got blown up. Do I have to go back and get more boots? Is that what happened? Because that would be cool if that were the case. Yes! Okay, we have more boots. Okay, that's interesting. I, I wasn't expecting that, but that's a pretty cool twist. So th is this level meant to be solved in such a way that you can get all the chips? Or is there always one boot that's left untouched? I'm going to assume you can get all the chips, but like the order in which you do everything is random. All right, we'll we'll come back to this later because if we need the flippers, we'll we'll come back. Okay, what about here? We have this, and then this. Okay, so now we have three blues. Okay, cool. And then we go in here. This was where that really cramped tank room was. Now that's interesting, going up there through that. This kind of reminds me also a little bit of combinations from CCLP4. Mm. Yeah, that's what I figured. Also, I like the fact this is untimed. That's pretty nice. Okay, I'm a little worried here. This is the big old room at the start. I like how this is open. That's pretty cool. Okay. So we're apparently going to go there. So what's the objective? Like, what are we trying to do with this block? Also, I can't really get to it from here, so... Um... I'm a little lost. Let's look around. I can't get there without the green key. I'm going to assume, like, just based on the layout, that you have to carry a block back and forth, like, a block each direction, maybe? That would make sense, right? I would just like to know, like, where... What, what do I do to get the, the last pair of boots? Because I feel like that's what's missing from the equation right now. I opened up toggles. Was I not supposed to do that right away? Let's push it again. Oh no, I closed that off now. Okay, so to even get up there, I need to have the, the toggles switched from their original state. That's interesting. Okay, I, I think there's just something we're missing in this room. I... I'm pretty convinced. I just need to figure out what, though. Mm. Yeah, I don't know... If I can just blow that up, that'd be nice. I don't think I've cooked the level. Like, there's... I feel like that's really unlikely at this point, right? Am I just missing something with this block? Like, there's nothing under this, is there? The green key is clearly up there. But in order to get the green key, I need the toggles to be opened. But in order for the toggles to be opened, don't I need to get this blown up? Okay, there's the, the clone button, which I'm assuming is the final one. There isn't, like, another way to get a block up here, is there? Even if there were, there's this water space that kind of makes it pointless. So... Oh! I can go here! Derp! Wow. 
I, I feel properly embarrassed. That was... I'm sure you all saw that. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Well, at the very least, we now know. Um... Wait, did I... Okay, no, I'm, I'm fine. Okay. Okay, that was cool. I liked that a lot. This kind of reminds me... I, so I've had this concept percolating in my head for a while. Um, where you basically go and transport blocks across this one area, but you have to use different recessed walls every time, which I know some people might say that sounds like closed circuit from walls of CCLP1, which it kind of is like that, but not exactly. Um, oh, nice. I can just go right in here. Um, so yeah, it, it, it's kind of sort of like closed circuit, but it's like simpler and it's not as puzzly, I guess you could say. But um, this reminds me of that idea where you're taking a block one way and then I'm assuming you're going to take another block the other way or maybe you're going to do the same thing again. I'll have to see how that goes, but maybe there's not much more to this. Actually, no, there wouldn't be another block. Never mind. I'm. You know what? Forget I said that. I kind of like it with only one block. Keeps things simple. So, nothing here, right? Because this was all keys. I like how each room kind of has its own flavor going on. That's pretty neat. Then we get these guys, and then I have to switch again. So, that, all in all, that was a blast. I, I liked the idea a lot. I like the fact that each room felt slightly different. I like the, f the fact that the level opened up more as you went on. That's one level quality I'm learning to like more and more these days. Um, it's just this idea that things can open up more and more. So yeah, I, I really enjoyed that one. Quarantine. <laughs> we have certainly had a lot of that this past year, right? Okay, so this is a timed level. Okay, this is an interesting wall pattern. Uh, yeah, I can see why this was turned into a maze. This is very scattered and all over the place. Also, the time limit was 136. Is that because Nightmare's Bold is 136? That feels like a reference to something. That's something I've been doing a little bit more lately is like coming up with references and some of my time limits like bold times. I haven't been doing it a lot, but I've been doing it a little bit. Oh, there's a fire boot over there. I saw the hint here. Mr. McCallahan presents. Okay. Wow. I just optimized that recently in Lynx. That's interesting. Yeah, I mean, I can see why this became a maze. This is a weird wall layout, for sure. I felt like a lot of my older wall layouts were really strange. Okay, where is the exit? I don't know where the exit is, guys. Oh, there it is. Okay, that was a nice little breather. I feel like we've had a few longer levels, so that was cool to, to play a, a shorter one. Okay, underground tank rush. Okay, so don't cook the level there. Uh, okay, that's going to come through as soon as I hit that. I have to assume that this is... Yeah, I can't get the chip. Okay, so we do that. Oh, this is no end in sight. I looked at this at links re uh, in links recently to see if there may be a new record there, but I couldn't find anything. Ooh, a Sokoban with recessed walls. That could be fascinating. 
Well, I think we're going to work on this now. Okay, I'm uncertain of where to go. But, like, this seems to... Oh, wait, it's up there. I'm dumb. I don't know why I thought it was, like, in an L shape. But it's clearly not. Okay, let's do that again. I guess you don't need that recessed wall, do you? Okay, so it's right there. That's where it is. So I need to work on getting stuff... I feel like I need to hold one of these down over here somewhere. So let's do that for now. Uh, is it really that simple? Let's see. I'm assuming that that's okay to do. Okay, now we get that. And now we apparently clone a block for some reason. Oh, I can do this. Uh, what is this for? Oh, that's clever. Okay, I, I think I see what you do here. Run for it. Yes. Okay, good. So I think I have to get this fireball, like, all the way over here. Or something like that, right? Like, that would make the most sense. I also need to get fire boots somewhere. I guess down there? So that, that block I can't take out of this room. Like, there's no way you can do that. I just have to prevent the fireball from dying there. Uh, is there anything I can do over here now? Ooh, I can. Oh, and here's where you would extract the blocks to use in the end. So, okay. I don't think I've cooked the level there, but... Because I, I don't think we need the skates for anything else. At least I hope not. But I'm a little worried about the fact that this fireball... Yeah, there's nothing under the block. The fire... Nothing is stopping this fireball from just going in there. Which is a little concerning. I just don't see where you can block this. I, it feels like you have to, like, clone something there. I just don't see where that happens. Like, where do you clone stuff? I want you to go over there. Why can't I go over there? Uh, da 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 da. Yeah, I don't know how to solve this. This is... This is stumping me. I... I'm clearly missing stuff. Like, a lot. Did I... I didn't miss anything in that room, did I? Up there? Pretty sure I didn't. Can I do anything else with these blocks right now? Unless the whole point is to, like, get the blocks off the buttons, but then that just temporarily gets the fireball in the traps. I mean, it's still headed in that same direction, right? Okay, I don't know what that really accomplished. I feel like we didn't do anything by doing that. Because it's still going to just go in there. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what we're dealing with here. This is really stumping me. I didn't collect a pair of fire boots earlier and then forget about them, did I? Pretty sure I didn't. I think we noticed pretty early on that the pair of fire boots we needed was over there, right? 
Okay, if I did get... I'm trying to see how I can maybe get over there to that red door area, but I need a red key to do that. And I don't know where to get a red key either. That's the other thing. Like, where do you get a red key? Oh, over here. But in order to get a red key, I need fire boots, for which I need to go over here to do that. You see what, where, like, there seems to be, like, a chicken and egg issue here. Let's start over. There's something here I'm just not seeing. You know what, let's leave that recessed wall be. Oh! I, yeah, I even called it earlier. I was like, I... That, should I pack that dirt down and push the block in and all that stuff? And I I should have listened to past JB's concerns. That's, that's the theme of this episode, is listen to past JB's concerns. Oh my gosh, okay. That... That's devious, but I, I can appreciate it. That That is devious, but I can appreciate it. It's not really all that bad. I, I still really like this room, especially. Okay, let's do that. Go through there. Good, okay. And you are going to give us some fire boots. Fire boots. Do, 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 do. That's a cool little room. There's big old rooms and then there's cool little rooms. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you're supposed to lose the, the skates before you, you go in there, aren't you? Okay, yeah, I was not expecting a level like this, like, that's pretty straightforward to trip me up so much, but I can, I can respect it, like, it's, it's got a cool thing going, and I, I appreciate it. And the Sokoban is actually pretty simple, all things considered. Alright, so first things first, before I go and get those fire boots, I need to get rid of these skates. So, we're good to go on that end for the red key. Okay, let's go up here. There you go. Simple enough. Get those. Okay. Alright, so now it should just be a simple matter of getting this stuff here. And... Okay, hang on one sec. If I go right here... Okay, good. What is pushing... Oh, I bet it's going to lead to a partial post, isn't it? Okay. Let's do this first. I'm hoping I'm doing this in the right order. I'm I'm hoping that the sending the tank back doesn't do anything weird. Mmm, tanks. Look at these tanks. Walls from no end in sight. I like how that one is... Oh, there it is! It's right there. That's the real one. Ah! So it sends us back here. Wait. Oh, no. Um... Well, that was a mistake. So I think what we were supposed to do was we were supposed to get rid of the fire boots there and then go back through here after we were done. Man, okay. We were close. We were close. I do like this level. As much as it's kind of 
giving me some trouble. I mean, it's it's a level that's reasonable. It's got a neat concept behind it. I mean, what's not to like, right? All right, there we go. So yeah, while we're going through this, I'll give you a bit of a, an overview of what I've got planned for the next couple months. I'm going to finish this Let's Play, and then if Josh's new set is ready, which so far it has not been, um, by the time I'm done with this, I'll probably play through that. And in my free time, I'm probably going to take a break from um, optimizing so I can finish the uh, level submission process for my own CCLP5 submission set. And that way I can be free to do other things after that. I think that will probably be the most reasonable way to go at this point. But I do want to finish this and um, Josh's other set that's coming out. Okay, I need to open that door up first, so let's do that. Because the tank wall to me need to go there. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, that's the tentative plan for now. Like I've said in previous videos, I do eventually want to do Let's Plays that are a little bit more involved. And I feel like I'm in a mental space now where I can probably commit a little more. I'm not saying that the, the channel is going to change and be, you know, more than just a hobby channel. But I do feel like I'm in a better place as far as mind space and whatnot to be doing things more for fun now. And I don't have to feel like I'm, you know, giving myself a hard time so much. Alright, so that is Underground Tank Rush, Contaminated Sewer Lines. Let's do one more. We'll, we'll do this one. Alright, are these, all these real? I'm just going to pretend that they are for now. Okay, so I think we just need to get these out of here, right? Seems to be uh, the most reasonable thing. Uh, let's do that. There you go. Interesting wall layout. I think this is blue blocks. If it's the real walls of blue blocks. Because I remember there were some really open rooms and then some narrow spaces. So if, I think it's blue blocks. Pretty sure it is. In fact, I want to say I played this level before. I may have tried this one out at one point. Oh, I'm trying to remember. It's been so long, I can't even remember. Okay, this is interesting. I like the the vibe of this level. It's very different for a blob level. Okay, so this will go there. And that allows me to get that. Kind of reminds me of uh, one who raids tombs a little bit, at least. Okay, I can't go up there yet. I guess we have to lose these. Uh, is it reasonable to say that we're going to do this? Um... How do I get... Oh, I go this way. I have I had that backwards. For some reason I thought I had to go down there, but apparently it's over here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I was not looking at that properly. Okay. Try again. This is a cool level. I... I like it when levels that have things like blobs do something a little different than just the standard kind of blob net clone thing that used to be really popular back in the day. I feel like we're kind of past that now. There was a point where everyone made blob net or blob dance kind of clones, including myself. I did that a lot. But now I think we're at a point now where blob levels are a little bit more interesting than that. Like we're getting more unique ideas and... 
I think it kind of arguably started with Josh, actually, with that compaction level that he made in Josh L2, where he had to, like, smush a bunch of blobs together. I know several people, myself included, have used that idea. Okay, we can't do anything else with the flippers, so I'm pretty sure it's fine to get them stolen. I also like this idea of like emptying out the uh, the sewer lines as they are here. There we go. Okay, so now we have these boots, which means we can go back here. Okay, what's beyond that? Just one chip. Let's not do that yet, because I think yeah, we need to go up here. Mm. This is what was cloning. Ooh, a little maze. Yeah, this is definitely the upper left area of blue blocks. I remember looking at this in CCLP3 links recently. It's been fun to go back and look at some uh, levels and links now that we have Super CC links. That's been really interesting. I've actually, in the space of like two or so months, I've managed to set 26 new Lynx records, and I think six new Steam records, which uh, I'm pretty happy about as far as like totals go. I'm pretty sure we just do this, right? Now I gotta get rid of a yellow key, which seems to be what that's all about. Uh, I guess we do that. Mm, this is an mm. interesting area. I remember this is the part of the level that had more constrained stuff, so... Yeah, this layout is a fascinating blend of constrained stuff and open areas. So, kudos to Josh for working with mm -hmm. this, because... This is not the easiest thing to work with. Walls from blue blocks, yep. Okay, so I see... Okay, we can go through here. So we're in the upper right now. Interesting. So, what is the point of this flipper right there? Like, what's going on there? Actually, can we even get to that? Oh, we can't blob is literally in the way. Okay, so I guess the only way forward is through here. Okay. There's a um, compaction there. Oh. Oh, here we go. Okay. That's how that works. Is that just for that? I guess so. Oh, this little device. Yeah, I used this in my level... S I panicked. I panicked there. I used this in my level um, Sewer Later, which is a, a reference, I think, a Crash Bandicoot level, if I remember correctly. Could be misremembering that. But it was based on the, oddly enough, the level of the sewers from CCLP1. Okay. I feel like I've got a handle on this one. It shouldn't be too hard. So yeah, as we're since this will be the last level for the video, I figured we can kind of close things out here and start wrapping things up or winding things down, depending on how you like to phrase it. Um, I just want to say thank you again for your patience as I sort things out in my life right now. And I, it was funny. I was I was talking to a friend of mine last week about kind of how I'm feeling right now. And just kind of that sense of, you know, change and everything. And she came up with a really good word that sums it up really well. Um, and I would have never thought of this word. She used the word displacement. That's kind of how I feel right now. You know, I feel like there's so many new normals, you know, on top of everything else going on with, you know, COVID and everything like that. And, you know, kind of figuring out, like, what things to get back into and what friendships to really focus on and... You know, all the things that come with, you know, there's been a bunch of change. How do we move on from, you know, where we've been and how do we navigate moving forward? And, 
all that stuff. And then on top of that, we have all the job questions. So it's kind of like, okay, I need to get past this job stuff first. Then we can start talking about, you know, what the channel is going to look like and what I'm going to do there since this should be an escape. And I, I wanted this to be an escape and not like an obligation to work on. You know, I want this just to be a fun place where we can hang out and play games and just chat about stuff every once in a while, you know, if something comes up. I don't want my channel to be anything, you know, beyond that as far as just what it's meant to be. You know, I just want this to be a fun place for everybody, so... I, I would, again, thank you for understanding and thank you for continuing to be here. Like, this is... This is something that, um, you know, I want to continue doing for y'all and for you to enjoy, um, hopefully, you know, as time goes on. And, you know, as I explore new Let's Play ideas beyond just Chips Challenge sets and all that, you know, I, I hope you'll enjoy those as well and that those will be a fun time for everybody, too. Okay, so let's go through here, get this. Okay, this, I feel like this being at toward the end of the level is a little on the mean side. I don't mind it, like, as a general thing, but it being at this point is a little questionable, especially with that blue wall there. Ugh. Blob, can you not? Ooh, I like this area. Uh, is this just going back? I'd assume, yeah. Although I see that area there. Now I'm worried that we botched this. With that button there. But now... Oh. Okay. I saw the flippers, and I'm like, wait a minute, where are their flippers? But Oh, here. Is this what we're... Okay, I, I don't know what I'm doing by holding this down. Oh! That's cool. I like that a lot. Okay, so that was contaminated sewer lines. We decontaminated it a little bit, at least. Pretty cool level. I, I liked it. Alright, so next time we will play Eigengrau. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. It sounds like a German word. So, y'all, thank you once again for being here. Um, I hope you know that... Uh, I appreciate you. I appreciate your comments and interactions with the channel and hope to see more of you here in the days to come. So until next time, thank you all for watching and I'll see you on the flip side. Take care and catch you then.